Hey folks, Wasasiate. I got a piece of Georgetown here, and we're gonna beat on it a little bit. And see what happens. Let's see here. That's a good flake. That was a big miss strike. Probably shouldn't be napping this right now because my head's not in it. My mind's someplace else. And probably not going to be very conducive for napping. Like this piece of Georgetown might have some few issues on this side on this end. Nice thin little slake you can make a little point out of. Take this cross right here. Next strike's gonna come across here. See how low that edge is? Let me zoom in a little bit. This edge is pretty low. Skim right across there. Take this right across here, a little short flake. Well, it wasn't all that short, but this here, I'm going to take a short flake here to try and take some of this a little bit off. See what we end up here with. I might make a 
Might do something with the punch notching. Or we may not. <laughs> I don't know yet. This side is not as good as this other side. That's for sure. I want to take most of my flakes off this side if I can. Yeah, I had the radio just jamming in there. The walls were vibrating. <laughs> I gotta make up a a napping playlist. A little rock and roll, a little country, upbeat, feel good. Look at that dog on. There's a crystal pocket in that. Seven minutes into it so far. Someone asked me the other day. For a beginner, what's the best material to start on? Although I think Rainy Buse is a pretty good material um, for anyone. You don't have to be heat treated. It flakes really nice. It's got some good tensile strength to it. But it's not my wouldn't be my first choice. For a beginner. But when they asked me, I told them, I said, I think my first choice would be Novaculite. It definitely wouldn't be Obsidian. I mean, there's nothing wrong with learning on Obsidian because, mostly because generally, cheaper stone. I don't know. I think if I pick two that were the most best for beginners to start on, it'd probably be Georgetown and Evaculite. That'd probably be it. I don't think there's a much better stone out there than, than the Evaculite for napping. It just, it's just that good. When it's heat treated, good. Anyways, if you're a beginner, then that, do, that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to just grab an evaculite and you're all of a sudden going to start making points when you couldn't before. That's not going to happen. It's not going to fix your your poor napping any more than it fixes mine. <laughs> But,
I'm not sure how this is going to like getting thin on this. One side. on it yeah there's some issues in that that's all coming off that one side that's disappointing yep issues issues I don't think there's any more of that material in this piece so now we're going to have two points I think I might be addicted to those, <laughs> those casts. Those casts are so awesome. I already got me a order form going for a, another order. And I also found some other places to order them from. And that has some different stuff. <coughs> you have to watch on some of those, though, because some of those are they're cast but they're cast of modern points I noticed on some of those sites not the listics well actually listics casting lab I think had one um, and it clearly states that an example by a face someone had done I can't remember the name but
So the point I'm looking at making is a calf creek. I guess it could be an andice too, either one, with the way the freeform is. That is if I don't blow it up. I'd really like to get a few flakes to run in on this. separate left that but I can probably come in right there maybe is what I'm thinking come in like this right here and get behind that Try and come in right off that and in there if possible. So I'm going to be hitting back towards myself. I ain't ran in there. It didn't clear off as much as I would have liked to have, but that did. Sweet! left that in it. Try and come in right here and weaken it. Or take it out. Either one would be okay with me. Well... See if I can pop it off there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Except for I lost my. Okay, I had to find my popper offer. Popper offer. Much nothing happened. That's what happened. Huh. Well, now I got a stupid island in it. <laughs> I didn't want that. Problem is, there's no way into that. There's most certainly not. I don't think 
that'll travel in there. Maybe. Be a small miracle if it does. didn't do it. It went up to it and then stopped. Right up to it and then stopped. Dag nabbit. Well, I wonder if that weakened it enough to pop it off there. Let's try it again. Okay, you ready? Let me zoom you in. You ready? That was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> that knocked a piece of it off. Pretty good chunk of it. Yes, sir. Well, it's better, but I still don't like it. Yeah, it's better, but it's still not possible. So I was thinking about coming right in here and trying hitting the end of it maybe will it hit the end of it all right whatever comes off now is what comes off and it, there won't be any more but I'm sure that's a pretty good chunk of it so was that I don't know what the thickness ratio is. It's pretty wide on the base. Pretty doggone wide.
Yeah, so I thought that I maybe wouldn't sell it nap ends. I'd just go there to nap. Not that I mind selling and stuff, but. What you get out of going to a nap in, sitting around that napping pit and watching other people nap. I mean, if they didn't teach you anything, just watching what everyone else is doing is, is worth the trip. Even an 11 hour trip to Tennessee or whatever it is, 12 hours. To me, it's worth it. Problem is the timing though. We got a hook to it. Pretty good one too. Well, heck, you guys can't even see nothing. Probably another video destined for the trash bin. Because <laughs> I didn't stay in frame. That's got detached flake right there and right or undetached and one right there which really makes that look pretty bad. It makes it look worse than what it what it is. I honestly don't know what the difference in some of these calf creeks and andice are. They're almost identical in the pictures in the book. Barely tell one from the other.
So those t-shirts and cups, I designed all that myself. Or I made the, you know, I put it together, which, you know, anyone can do that. But uh, I did the photography work, put it all together. Made them into the drawings, you know, and so they'd look like they were drawn. So I'm pretty proud of them. Alright, that's not too bad. It's not horrible. This side's pretty good. That side, other than this ugly, ain't terrible. in on this side here. So all this work, and then I'm going to try uh, punch notching, which I have with the <laughs> with the copper pipe, which I have almost zero experience with. Now all those calf creeks there, they well, they're uh, hold on a second. Yeah, it's talking about the the notches going pretty much straight up so let's figure out center here so that's about center I guess I don't know what I got happen here that's about center That's about it. I don't have a piece of metal like he had. I I seen this with Stone Hook doing this, and uh, that's what I'm gonna try and try and do something like what he was doing. Now my notches may get. I did this earlier and my notches got pretty fat and they may get fat again and I'm okay with that. I was really wanted to just uh, practice this. I mean obviously I hope that uh, I hope that it works. I was just doing it on this before which maybe I should just go back to that just uh, and not this leather. I know that I do need a better whacker.
I do know that. He had a wood whacker. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting enough. Elevation so I can there we go now we gotta pop out now when he was doing this and he was coming back at an angle like this on that just to square it up he's holding it at an angle like this and uh, in his words knock the fire out of it <laughs> I, I had a much easier time earlier, probably because it wasn't a point and I wasn't worried about it. I guess. Yeah, I'm not getting the right elevation. I need a different piece of leather, I guess. Yeah, because I'm not getting... Uh, That's not working at all. That got to pop out. See how far the pop out came in there? That's what I've been looking for. I gotta figure out something different. I don't know what, but something different here. Yeah, he had a piece of leather so he could set it on like a 45. I think it's about what he had it on. I do own a leather shop, so I don't know why I'm not going to get in something, but. There we go, that's a pop out right there. That's what I'm talking about. And this all, I mean, I'm sure it looks really, really awkward because it is, because I've, I've never done it before. I mean, this is literally the only, only thing I've done with it. And that was three eighths of an inch thick.
I think that one might be stalled out by the looks of it. It looks very stalled. It's just, I, I'm not. Not doing something right. I'm not zigging when I should have zagged or something. Right. Finally got a pop out. Got too aggressive right there. Much too aggressive. Why am I not doing this with the nacho, you ask? Well... It would be easier on me, probably. But it's a new technique that I haven't done before. And That was a big pop out. You gotta get a pretty good angle on it, I think. I think a flatter hitting uh, mallet would probably be better. The biggest problem I'm having is lower corner hitting. If I get it up too high, then it gets a little too much bounce in it. Feels like, anyways. I think I got them both stalled out. That's what I think.
believe I do have them. See, there's an undetached flake right here. That's, oh no, it popped out there. Good deal. When you get those, it can be hard to get rid of them. I should add my notches out a little further, probably going to break the stem. to get the same thing on this other side though I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not got just a bit of a undetached flake in there There's a good pop out. That was a weak hit and uh, kind of messed me up there a little bit. Yeah, my stem's too narrow, probably, or but, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Who knows? Well, that took like a ring crack kind of thing out of it. notches are deep enough.
sure wish I could pop that off there. Here we are, another hour plus long video. that pop that off there just can't do it Okay, well, I'm going to have to do something to install those, so be right back. Okay, I'm just browning those a little bit. nice set up here to be able to keep my stuff organized and I don't do it. <laughs> now I gotta get a different uh, different piece of leather I believe. And a different whacker. Ooh. Well, that was a big pop out, but that was dangerous, dangerous, dangerous right there. If you want to watch this done right, watch Stone Hook. I got a little pop out. Watching him do it, I can definitely see the uh, see the value in doing it. almost there I would think look at that pop out that's a pretty serious pop out
Well, you would think that I would be able to pop about the same height up in there, but I'd like to have another pop out. Maybe I can't though, I don't know. work on the edge a little bit. Not all lost lakes were beveled, but uh, these in the South Central, looking at the book, they don't look beveled. crunchy there. I'll be in a leather shop tomorrow. I know this probably wasn't a very entertaining video. particularly in the right mindset, I guess, for napping and jabbering. It's kind of a bummer that that's twisted a little bit. I think if I... Uh, Looks a little straighter. So when you get these, they come with two different bits. They come with a copper and a and a steel. Personally, if it was me, I would just get two of them. Because <laughs> they're not very expensive and uh, they're like 12 bucks. And you won't have to switch back and forth. Of course you may not like you may not like one or the other. I mean everyone's gonna like the copper, but 
not everyone will like steel, although it is a mild steel and works really, really well. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Hold on a minute. Never mind. You know, I think I'm losing my mind. I'm thinking about a lost lake is what I'm thinking about. It's late. <laughs> I'm tired. And uh, not very bright besides that. I'm sure what was going on there. I've just had point types confused. I'm just having a brain fart. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> problem with these things is this if you slide down there it gets stuck in there that's the only thing that I don't like about them other than that they're just fine in fact they're one of my favorite tools in, the, in my arsenal I wish I could get rid of that. I just don't know of any way to get rid of it. That'll cover. I mean, you could put oil on that and that'll disappear, but uh, I'd rather not have to do that if I didn't have to. But not that I mind. I'd just rather have a cleaner point that I don't have to do that, I guess. Find a little pass around the edge, just cleaning it up with this. Switch my glasses out. We're almost done, folks. decide what I'm going to make out of the other half of this. It's big enough to make another one just about like this. So could do that. And then I get some more practice on my
So, since we're trying new stuff, instead of wax, might be able to flip that off there with a Instead of wax, let's try something else. So this is a video of first for me. So first, using the copper punch. And uh, instead of wax, we're going to use some mink oil. There is a technique to this. I don't know it. I just kind of watched my buddy Keith. I don't know if that mink oil is going to get underneath those or not. snazzy so far. That's our B side. Zoom in a little bit. That's our B side. Then I don't know if you do this other step or not, or if he does two separate things. Maybe he'll see this and let me know. I'm not sure what this does to it. But if my buddy Keith says this is the way he does to do it, then I believe it. <laughs> he didn't actually say that, but I do know that he uses these. I just don't know in what order and on what stone and what for or any of that other stuff. I, I don't know any of that. And this is a neutral shoe polish. The other thing was mean oil. I'd like the mink oil a little better, I don't know. Maybe not. I think I need a regular rag rather than a paper towel for one thing. Well, there's our B side, there's our A side, I guess. And let's let's check the thickness. The width ratio. So and I have no idea what these are in reality. It just says they're thin. But that's like... Uh, 50 eight. Fifty-eight and about eight. So yeah, it's a little better than seven to one. Pretty cool, let's get the book. Here's the book. 
that's what we're looking at it's not quite as deep as that one but it's not as long a point either so it's really close to that one and the depth is pretty close to the same it's almost identical really but there's our point calf creek georgetown big wide dude pretty cool pretty cool I, my stem's a little bit narrower than their stems are but i don't know if it really makes much difference i guess it might i, I don't really know but it's a pretty neat point i like it I would have liked it better if I could have got that clean across there, but I didn't. But all right, appreciate y'all watching, you guys that stuck around, and uh, y'all, uh, y'all hit that like and subscribe button. We'll get some better videos. I'll, I'll get out here when I'm a little more rested, and we'll make some better points and what have you. These books, the book of this is the book I'm looking in right here. These are available on the website. This is the 12th edition Overstreet. Um, it's as good, just as good as any of the rest of them. One, I normally use 13, but they're sold out of those. But I got these on the website, so appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch you on the next one. In fact, you know what? This almost matches that one, only this one's much bigger, of course, obviously. But uh, this is a calf creek that I that I napped on video on this shirt. And here's a lost lake that I was napping that I was, for some reason, I was confusing the two points, and I wasn't. Uh, wasn't getting it right and there's the little bitty point we napped earlier all right appreciate y'all y'all keep napping